Uh, good afternoon, teachers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is Teacher Mark of uh, Academic. So in uh, uh, in today's uh, video, guys, is I'm gonna teach you or I'm gonna show you uh, the uh, uh, tools within the A classroom. Before we proceed, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and uh, click the notification bell so you'll be updated with my latest upload so to get started guys make sure you have uh, a tutor client app installed in your computer or desktop computer and then make sure you log into your tutor client and then once you are in your tutor client uh, dashboard uh, at the upper right, click the Temporary Classroom button. And uh, wait for it to load. And then click Start Testing. So by the way guys, uh, before a classroom is a separate uh, uh, class tool software that you have to download and install separately. But right now, it is linked to Jitter Client. So basically, once you install Jitter Client, it means a classroom is already linked to it. So you don't have to uh, manually uh, install uh, a classroom. So after that, we uh, on this page uh, under sound detection. So select the speakers. Just leave it as it is, uh, default. And then we're gonna play the to, to, to check the sound and uh, let's see if we can hear it. <laughs> Okay, so I heard a uh, barking dog. Then click next. And for the camera, so I'm using a for tech. Okay, that's me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, just wearing a T-shirt since uh, I'm not teaching yet. And then mirror mode, make sure to uncheck this one. Okay. Uh, beautification settings, so if you click this, this is what's, you know, you can like enlarge your eyes like this. Okay. But you can set it to default. And then uh, that's pretty much it. And the animation props. There's none, so you can reset it. Okay, then click OK. Then click Next. Now, now for, for the, the microphone, microphone, make sure you select, select Chris, Chris microphone. microphone. So, Chris, Chris is, is actually a uh, software, software that has the ability to cancel, cancel background, background noise. noise. So, so if you, you are in a noisy place, place and your teaching, teaching place is kind of noisy, you, you can uh, use Chris, Chris to, to remove those, those background, background noises. noises. Alright. All right. And, and make sure your Chris, Chris isn't is enabled. So to, to check uh, you, you can, can see, see the green or white, white check, check mark, mark with, with a green, green background. background. Okay. Now, if uh, I'm going to select my USB headset, let's see what are we going to hear. Yeah. As you can see guys, you can hear some buzzing sound. But if we select crisp, 
Yeah. yeah. No, no background, background noises. Then, then uh, by, by the way, way guys, with, with a crisp, I have, have a uh, separate, separate tutorial, tutorial video about, about this, this how, how to, to properly and install and set up this uh, noise, noise cancelling software. software. You, you can, can click, click the, the link under, under the description, description of, of this video. video. You can and also use my referral link, link to get, get a free, free subscription. subscription. Alright, right, let's, let's click, click next. next. So, if, if you, you see, see here guys, everything is normal, normal so that's, that's good. good. Then click, click enter. enter. Okay, so once you are, once we are inside the A classroom, this is uh, the A classroom tool looks like, okay? So on the upper upper left, you will see the network delay, the pocket loss, the network status if it's excellent, your room number, course ID, and then the time. Now let let's discuss each uh, button. Let's start with this one. Uh, replace courseware. So. This, you can use this if you want to replace your current courseware, but nothing to worry guys. Uh, this, was not, this was not discussed during the product training. Next is the screenshot. Okay, so you can only uh, take a screenshot if there's a student. Uh, this one. Okay, next is the notice. So, and then next is the turn on speed mode. So, if we click this, it will just show this one. Okay. Don't worry, this was not discussed as well during the product training. The SOS. So, if you encounter a problem like you cannot see the material, you cannot see the students, you cannot hear the students and other problems uh, you can uh, write down specific questions below and then make sure you uh, take a screenshot of uh, as an evidence let's say you encountered like you cannot see the students so you can do a screenshot so you can just simply click to take a screenshot there okay so the screenshot is not working since uh, there's no student yet uh, this one the reload button so uh, uh, in most of the time uh, please uh, uh, avoid clicking this because what's gonna happen if you click reload it will just uh, let you re-enter or re-log into your a classroom and it may take to one to two minutes before you'll be able to successfully log back into a classroom so uh, you know be mindful uh, uh, do not uh, click this unless you are told with your supervisor uh, students list this is where you can see the, uh, the your students who booked your class who choose to use the a classroom as the teaching tool uh, this one very important file so you only click this let's say the lesson material didn't load up automatically right here in this whiteboard so what you're going to do is to you're gonna manually uh, upload the lesson material from the class table and then you're gonna save it in your desktop computer so in order to upload the lesson material you have to click files and then click add and then uh, upload or choose file so let's say we save our lesson material on our desktop you just select it uh, let's say for example this one click open and then upload okay 
and then uh, wait for it it's still con converting so when it's once it's done there it will automatically load up your lesson material all right uh, again you only uh, use this button that is if the lesson material didn't automatically show up or load up in the whiteboard so you have to manually download it from the class table by clicking the student's name and then download the, the lesson material and upload it inside the a classroom by clicking files and add and then choose file then upload all right so we're gonna delete this one okay next button is the toolbox the what's this yeah the toolbox so in the toolbox you can see here the answer uh, answer panel like uh, a b c d and so on the time turnaround table you know if you're gonna if you will be uh, conducting some activities with your students the timer uh, what else the upload picture by QR code responder desktop sharing uh, this one guys is very important let's say your student you all let's say you already uploaded the lesson material and you can see it in your computer but the problem is your student still cannot see the lesson material so the work around there is you can share your desktop by clicking desktop sharing okay so you can select desktop sharing so that uh, whatever you whatever I'm seeing in my computer uh, once I share my screen to my student he will he or she will see it too okay again you only use this text desktop sharing uh, if the student cannot see the lesson material uh, but uh, technically you can see it in your end okay so all you have to do is to uh, again uh, click desktop sharing and then start sharing all right so this is a very a very important button next is the small whiteboard if you're gonna let the stu student draw something okay what else uh, media sharing if you're gonna share some like videos to your students uh, me in my case before I uh, proceed with the proper lesson I always start with a, uh, a nursery rhyme song you know to break the the gap between me and my students so that both both of us are comfortable with each other and also that is to uh, prepare the students for the lesson so you don't have to directly start with the lesson immediately it's better if you can uh, uh, show them or yeah show them a, uh, a nursery rhyme song okay you can download guys directly from YouTube okay you can uh, directly download a uh, let's say uh, a nursery rhyme okay I'm gonna show you an example uh, nursery rhyme song okay so it's since it's still loading anyway once you uh, open the nursery rhyme song video you copy the link okay and then let's say paste it over here Let's say for example HTTP is like this one okay you remove to download it you remove the HTTPS and then you add SS okay and it will look like this SSS youtube.com then uh, there's an option here to download the video so let's say you click download okay for example let's say this one you can download it and uh, after you download the nursery video you can uh, 
go here to media sharing and then uh, go to downloads okay so I'm just gonna show you an example there okay so I'm just gonna show this because this is very helpful guys especially we when you are conducting a lesson to a kid or a young learner so this is a very a very good technique okay so again once done downloading you go to media sharing uh, okay one more media sharing and then downloads so it's right here okay you just click then open and it will automatically so it will automatically once you open it it will automatically play here if it doesn't play it will be a it it will be a uh, if it doesn't play you have to manually click the play button like this one all right what else uh hide the classroom window uh prepare the lesson so for the toolbox guys the two important uh tools that you have to use is the the stack sharing and the media sharing okay uh, next is the global control uh, This was not discussed during the product trading. Don't worry the layout uh, Video setup Okay, don't touch this button. This was this was not discussed as well during the product training and in the settings Okay, so the camera test the speaker test All right, make test System info you can also see here your system info guys video detection uh, virtual background so this is uh, awesome so if you don't want your uh, current background you can select a different one like this one right this one too this one okay so for now I'm gonna click now because uh, I haven't asked my uh, supervisor if this is allowed but I will uh, this is something that I will uh, ask to my supervisor if uh, if it's okay to change my current background to use a virtual background instead. Beautification settings, uh, pretty much. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. And then uh, leave this is uh, you only click this once you're done with your lesson again. Uh, let's say for example your class starts at. 1 p.m. You have to click this leave button here at exactly 1.28 Okay, 1.28 p.m. Okay, next button is the pointer. So this is uh, pretty self-explanatory laser pen if you're gonna point something let's say you're gonna be uh, asking the student to read a word or a sentence you can use this one the pen um, pretty much simple except the text if you're gonna type here let's say you say ma abi okay uh, simple as that and then the delete button to clear everything here all right okay Next is the shape, uh, pretty simple, it's square like that, okay. If it's a circle, okay, alright. Okay, so eraser, uh, I, I seldom use this one, I use the trust bin button instead. And then the screenshot, pretty self-explanatory. If you're gonna take a screenshot like that, then you... Uh, Simply go here. How can I cancel this? Why? Okay. Okay, there you go. And then, guys, the chat box. Uh, especially if you're gonna be uh, giving out corrections to students. For example, this, you ask the students, "What's his, what's her name?" You say, you say, uh, you say, Abi, okay? 
Alright, you should say... You should say... Uh, my name is Abby, something like that, okay? We're gonna clear kick that one. Okay, and then uh, pretty much that's all guys. So, hope this video guys helps you. Uh, gives you an idea uh, how to use a classroom properly. So, thank you guys for watching. As a thank you, please subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video to your friends and family. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Sai Chen.